The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. She is considered to be one of the most powerful people in Florida government, but she's also considered to be on a power trip, abusing her authority to separate children from their families. But what do we do? Yeah, what is the crime? You the charge. But who said we you refused that? the B12 shot today? I didn't refuse. I said his. No, 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 no. There was no refusal. So you're saying you're taking my child away from me? I wrote a scathing report last year on the corruption in child protective services. You guys, I'm human. This is my baby. My baby is days old, and you're taking my baby away from me. You're taking my baby away from me. You have no heart. The Department of Child Protective Services has become a protected empire built on taking children and separating families. Can we say goodbye? Lily. I'm gonna ask, can, I mean, we've been, we've not been me at all. Can we please say goodbye? He's not letting us say goodbye. He's being very, very mean. Because of what you're doing. Because of what you're doing. You have. You are. Just let him give her a hug. What kind of person are you? Let go now. 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 Let go. Let go of the baby. Let go of the baby. Relax. This is not to say that there are not those children who do need to be removed from wretched situations and need protection. However, my report is concerned with the children and parents caught up in legal kidnapping. I'm gonna hurt you, okay? No, you're not touching me, you're not hurting me! I'm gonna hurt you. Go with your brother, hang with your brother. We're gonna stick together, okay? We're gonna stick together with your brother, This is unreal. This is unreal. Oh, this, my kids deserve this. I didn't, you made it this, this way. I made it this way. <laughs> Look at this. I'm my dad, no, no. I'm not up Having worked with probably 300 cases statewide and hundreds and hundreds across the country, and in nearly every state, I am convinced there is no accountability in child protective services. The Inspector General of Kentucky, in this report, documented widespread abuses within the child protection system. Tonight, we continue our three-year-long investigation of Kentucky CPS. And later in 1997, by President Bill Clinton, offered cash bonuses to the states for every child they adopted out of foster care. Some counties offer four to six thousand dollars bonus for each child adopted out to strangers, and an additional two thousand for a special needs child. Employees work to keep the federal dollars flowing. And it's all driven by money. All of the, the taking of the children that is going on right now, is Child Protective Services just an official government kidnapping ring? Basically, yes. The National Center on Child Abuse and Neglect in 1998 reported that six times more children died in foster care than in the general public, and that once removed to official safety, these children are far more likely to suffer abuse, including sexual molestation, than in the general population. He had put me on him and made me go up and down. Um, I remember that he had his pants off. And this is the life and the lifestyle and, you know, like the conditions that she's living in, that the court team is okay for these little black and brown girls because at the end of the day, they don't matter. Child Protective Services seizes children using the very system that is paid for by the taxpayer who actually believes it is used to protect abused and uh, neglected children. The bureaucracy of workers benefit financially by a system that converts children into cash while destroying their families and their lives. So who are the people making these life-changing decisions? CBS 42 investigative reporter Nancy Wilson looked into the backgrounds of child welfare workers. What she found may surprise you. We found more than 370 employees have a criminal background. Assault, burglary, DWI, theft, 
domestic violence, indecent exposure, prostitution, possession of cocaine and marijuana. Remember the case of Vanessa Shanks, who had her kids taken away, and when she fought back, saw her relative's kids taken away, and when she won her appeal, saw her attorney's child taken away? These former CPS workers say that kind of retaliatory power is common, and in this secretive one-side system, they can take your kids away right now if they want to and get away with it. Don't live a one time. You're gonna, what? You're gonna hurt my you, baby? You let go. You're gonna hurt my baby? You let go. Don't do that. You let go. Hey, don't do that to me. Like I, that. I have not broke a law. You guys cannot do this to me. Okay. Let go of your own. I'll cut it. Please, like, oh, please, like, 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 <laughs> this is unreal. Look at this. I love you. They taking our babies. Yeah. They taking the kids. They taking our kids. They can do this to our kids like this. They got love. They get plenty of love. Yes, sir. No, we got love neighborhood love. love. We got street love. Come on. Neighborhood love. This is what they doing. This is what they doing to our community. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman.